Images in this following story may be disturbing to some viewers. Auckland police are investigating after a man was king hit by a bouncer outside an Auckland nightclub. Video of the incident has appeared on social media. Yvonne Tahana spoke with the victim. A king hits on a K Road punter. This weekend incident outside an Auckland nightclub has been viewed 200,000 times on Facebook, but the victim remembers nothing about it. I do feel very lucky and blessed to be alive today, you know, after watching the video. La Box is a popular Tongan hotspot and the video's drawn heat online from Tilly Mayol's family, who are threatening payback. I want to calm, you know, I'm trying to calm everybody down and um, do it the right way. Police say they've received a complaint and that the investigation is continuing. The owner of the club wouldn't appear on camera but told One News that by punching the victim, the security guard clearly exceeded his authority and no longer works at La Box. The guard was licensed, but industry commentators say it's worrying he didn't appear to have that licence visible as required by law. I see so many people who are currently working without licences and when you look at that doorman's uh, body language, it all shows that he was just waiting to punch. Crowd controllers, as they are officially known, are required to be licensed, having completed between 12 to 20 hours of courses. But Daryl Stanell believes that's too low a standard. These people are the people who prevent fights, who prevent women from getting raped, who prevent so many different things. Um, and yet it's taken as a bit of a almost like, hey, oh, you know, we put in a bit of training in place, so yeah, we've done our bit. Despite the assault, Tuli Mayo doesn't have any serious injuries, but he wants his story to be a cautionary tale. Yvonne Tahana, One News.